In this video, I'm going to show you how you can achieve different effects in your embroidery by using fill patterns. Depending on the level of your software, you may have many different fill patterns. The professional level has well over a thousand. Uh, there are many different ways to fill an area and depending upon what your needs are in your stitch type tolerance and your stitch count tolerance, um, we can show you a lot of different effects. This is a standard block of fill stitch that you'd see in pretty much any embroidery design. It has roughly just under 5,000 stitches in it. Now, if we want to drastically reduce this stitch count, we can do that by using what's a low density fill, what's called a motif. I'm going to select block edit mode and open up our embroidery settings and go straight to the stitch type. As you can see, there are many different stitch types available to you in the program, but for the sake of this, we're going to use the motifs. The motifs are individual patterns that can be repeated in a design to achieve a filled effect. Some of these can drastically reduce your stitch count, some can drastically increase your stitch count. Let's choose a simple motif like this and apply it. As you can see, our stitch count was cut roughly in half and we have a nice little pattern background. Now, the garment color will show through this. You can use this over a fill area or an applique or any other type of uh, thing like that to achieve a different kind of effect. However, it can be used in lieu of an applique also. So you can do this, apply a satin border, and it'll give a very applique look to it uh, on fabrics such as towels and um, fleece and things like that with a lot of nap. This can hold down the nap and give you a very uh, sculpted look. You can choose many different motifs, just try to find the one that suits you best. Each motif can also be changed in a different way, in its own way. The stitch angle will give it a different appearance, as will things like rotate. You see, the same motif can look many different ways depending upon what you do with it. We also have multicolor motifs. Multicolor motifs, um, on the surface, you would think they would really increase your stitch count, but depending on the style that you use, uh, maybe not. Uh, the low density ones like this will keep the stitch count pretty manageable. You see? And they give you a lot of impact. The higher density ones now, Okay, they can really pop up the stitch count, but if that's what you want, then that's what you want. Even a single color uh, motif can really increase your stitch count if you use a more solid looking one. So that's pretty much what you can do with motifs. Um, there's a lot of other parameters and things that uh, apply that I'll get into later in a more advanced video. And there's how to create your own motif if you have professional. Uh, I'll do a video on that sometime later also.